Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel and today we're taking our first in-game look at the mastery camos in Modern Warfare 2. We're also going to be taking a look at all the maps that are coming and things like that as well. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications turn on for all the best Call of Duty Modern Warfare news, tips, tips and tricks, all that sort of stuff, camo guys, all that sort of stuff. Make sure you are sub with notice turn on. If you do enjoy the video, smash thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on these mastery camos in the comments below. But no more messing about, let's jump straight into the video right now. Okay guys, so the first thing we are going to be going over today is all the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 maps that will be in Modern Warfare. We've got a couple. Of, we've got about 10, I think, for 6v6. And then 5, I believe, for Ground War. So it's like 32 versus 32. Uh, the first map, guys, is going to be Hotel, which we did see on the base. So obviously, we'll go through the, the beta maps first. We had Hotel, we had Farm 18, and we had uh, Mercado Las Almas, which, you know, and Museum as well, actually, which were, in my opinion, really, really nice maps. They played very well. Um, it's also given me good expectations for the maps that we hopefully will be getting with the rest of the game. I'm hoping all of the maps play really well so that it's a good flow to the game and once you start getting better at the game it becomes a lot easier to drop high kill games and it's just overall a fun experience i want to be able to play a multiplayer and just keep playing multiplayer over and over and over and over and over again uh, apart from the 6v6 maps we did see in the beta we've also got crown raceway which is the f1 inspired map which just has its name changed uh which was i believe called grand prix to start off with but they had to change the name for legal reasons it's the same map but it's just got a different name it's called Re crown raceway now we also then have el asilo uh we have embassy we have santa Sena. Uh, border crossing we have Tarak and we do have hydroelectric as well as our Bagra fortress um, some of these maps you are going to know are 6v6 but they're also ground war maps as well so I'm assuming it's going to be the big scale as a ground war map and then small areas of these maps cut down into a 6v6 map so like I said the ones that are then in ground war are also our Bagra fortress because as I just said it's a 6v6 map as well and also the hydroelectric one as well as well as uh, Said and Santa Sena is also another ground war one as well as Sarif Bay and I believe that is all of the ground war maps um, as well. So there'll be a list up on screen right now, which you can see all the map names for 6v6 and then for all the ground war ones. You can see the list of maps. Obviously, we're not going to know what they all play like and what they all look like in game until we actually get hands on in the game when it does fully come out. I'm quickly going to throw this one in there. If you guys do enjoy my content, you do want to watch me streaming the race for the Mastery Camo, I'm going to try and be one of the first in the world to unlock the Mastery Camo. And I'm then going to try and complete it before Warzone 2 does come out as well. So if you want to check that out, I'll be live streaming on this channel, on my YouTube channel. All you guys need to do is make sure you are subscribed with notifications turn on and check your subscription box. As soon as that game's live, if I'm not uploading videos, I'm going to be streaming. And if I'm not streaming, I'm making a video for you guys. So I'm going to be super, super active when the game does drop. So make sure you are sub with notice turned on. I'm trying to hit 20k subs. And if you can help, that'd be absolutely amazing. But now, guys, we'll get into the part that you are all, all here for and it is gonna be a look at the mastery camos so i'll put some clips up on screen um these clips did come from someone on twitter i will leave the link to their tweet in the description if you guys do want to go check out all the files that you have of the camos over there in game um i'll leave their tweet in the description you can check that out but yeah guys the first camo we're taking a look at on screen right now is gold as you can see we've got an ar version of it and then we are going to have a look at it on the sniper rifle so 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 clean it's just such a super clean camo it's like the black ops one gold camo it's it's just pure gold. There's no like dark bits thrown in there. There's no cool camo patterns they've tried to put on it. They've kept it plain and simple and they have just made it gold like the old days and it's really, really clean. I am I'm in love with this gold camo. I'm probably going to unlock mastery camo and still use gold camos on a lot of my guns because of how clean it is. I really like the way that it looks. You can see what it looks like on the AR and the sniper rifle like I did say. It just the coverage of it, the way it covers the gun is really clean. The camo look is really clean. It's really sleek and it's just a nice gold bright color in your face. You you know you've got gold camo on and in my opinion it's it's just it's just amazing it's just the best camo it's the best gold camo we have seen in a lot of years and i'm super super excited to get my hands on this gold camo like i said i'm be racing for mastery camo here on stream if you do want to check that out when it does drop uh we'll now take a look at the platinum camo uh very very similar to the modern warfare 2019 one uh, in my opinion definitely the worst camo out of the out of the four mastery camos um i mean it might change they might make some changes to it make it look a little bit better but in my opinion it just looks very standard it's just like a silver platinum sort of color i don't really like it that much i'll be totally honest but some of you guys might like and if you guys do enjoy the platinum camo then as you can see on screen right now if i was using it on the ar um you can see it on screen right now and it's it, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below let me know your thoughts on rankings in terms of the best mastery camo to the lowest mastery camo in the comments i'll be interested what you guys have to say so next up guys we have got the orion camo which is a space themed camo uh, as you can see in game this is what it looks like very clean in my opinion i like the way that it looks um i just hope the gun coverage is a bit better when we actually forget the full game but i'm assuming these are just early images of the or early uh clips of the camo so i'm assuming they'll get 
get a bit better over time. They'll make some adjustments to it here and there if they need to, and the community don't like it as much as they thought they were going to. But in my opinion, it's a very, very nice camo. It is also slightly animated. It does move. It's just quite a slow-moving camo. Um, this might get sped up. Like I said, if they make changes, it might get sped up. It might look a little bit different. But this is the Orion camo right here, guys. Um, very clean, in my opinion. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments. Not, It's a slightly different camo to what we've seen previously in Call of Duty, but I actually really like it as a Martian camo. I think it's a very cool camo, and it does stand out quite a lot as well. And then finally, guys, we have got the Poly Atomic slash Element camo. It's got two names at the minute. We don't know which one it's going to be called, but as you can see, it's like a dark matter style. It's a purple. It's a really, really nice camo. I hope they make a couple of changes to it to make it look a little bit brighter and pop a little bit more, but it's a really clean camo. I'm a big fan of it. I really, really do like it. But yeah, in my opinion, this is one of the cleanest Martian camos in this game. In my opinion, it goes gold, this Poly, poly Atomic, uh, then the Orion, and then Platinum, in my opinion. And like I said, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. How are these going to work? We don't quite know as of right now. So obviously gold is going to be when you get gold on a gun, right? That's a given. Platinum, we are assuming if you get all gold assault, assault rifles, for example, you'd unlock platinum on the assault rifles, just like you did in Modern Warfare 2019. And now we've got two more mastery camos. So we're not sure if one's going to work like Obsidian did. So once you've got gold on it, you can then grind out 15 kills in 150 games, whatever it is, and get that polyatomic camo. Um, and then if you get like all the guns gold in the game, you're going to get the Orion camo. Or people are speculating that if you complete a certain uh, progression tree or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, in the beta, if you unlock the M4, for example, it had two guns going off that way and two guns going off it that way. Say, for example, if you get all of them gold, you then get the Orion camo for that. But I'm not too sure that's how it's going to work. I really don't know how it's going to work, in total honest with you. And I don't think anyone is going to is going to know until the full game actually does drop. So I'm interested to see how these camos do work and how we do go about getting them and seeing what all the challenges are for the knife, the guns, the pistols, the ARs, the SMGs, all that sort of stuff. Because they said that it's not going to be as tedious and repetitive this year. So I'm interested to see what they mean by that. Is it going to be um, just slightly different challenges for each guns? Or is it going to be like a full set of different challenges for guns? Hopefully we don't need things like long shots for SMGs. Because you're not using SMGs for long shots. You're using SMGs for close range gunfights. So hopefully they scrap long shots on SMGs and pistols and things like that. And then they, we get like, I don't know, more point blank kills or drop shotting kills or ADS on jumping kills. I don't know. Anything to change it up. And hopefully the challenges change slightly for each uh, gun. That would be really cool in my opinion because we should be leveling guns up a lot faster this year with the new leveling system. But then I don't want to be stuck in the same repetitiveness of doing the same camo challenges over and over and over again. Beforehand, it was like, you level the gun up, you get the camos. You level the gun up, you get the camos. You get the level up. You know what I mean? It's the repetitive cycle. But now that gun leveling should be faster, I'm interested to see what they do with the camos. Hopefully it's like a not a repetitive system at all. And it feels really refreshing to keep going for all these different camos on the same classes. Really, really hoping it does feel good but yeah guys that is all the new modern warfare 2 maps and the modern warfare 2 mastery camos that have been leaked if you guys have enjoyed it smash thumbs up like i said subscribe with notice turned on i'm gonna be posting the best tips and tricks all the updated news all the leaks all that sort of stuff for modern warfare 2 before it does drop here in a couple of days time if you did enjoy it smash thumbs up and i'll catch you on the next one in a bit Peace.